If you're the daughter of a narcissistic mother, you keep running back to your mother because you feel unworthy and you get stuck in this trauma bond with her because she abused you. And she was also the person that was supposed to take care of you. And a lot of your worth hangs on whether she's going to see you as who you are. So you lost that. You got to agree with that loss too of your self-worth and your confidence. As you're grieving, you also learn to build yourself up apart from your mother. Another aspect is a loss of support in like events that you had in your life. So because you had a narcissistic mother who was more concerned with meeting her needs and she may have been competing with you or she may have been jealous, she did not give you the support that you needed growing up when it came to you, your accomplishments, what you like, you know, events in your life, getting married, the birth of a child, all those types of things, because it wasn't about her. So you might feel like a burden. You might feel like you don't want to share things. You might feel like you don't want to make things a big deal because that you grew up with this type of mother. When in reality, it's like you lost that because of the type of mother that you had. So you also have to grieve that. The loss of healthy conflict resolution. You didn't learn how to interact with people in a way that fostered healthy conflict. It was abusive. It was manipulative. Your mother took advantage of you when you were a child. So of course, you're going to take these relationship patterns with your mother into other relationships and you're going to struggle with conflict resolution. The loss of guidance. You didn't really have a mother who was guiding you through life because she was more concerned with meeting her needs. And the loss of a role model. 